Ahoy, me BIM buccaneers and console corsairs. Welcome back to our grand interoperability adventure of Pirate Cove. Picking up from where we left off in our last adventure, I trust you have taken some time to get familiar with the island of Twin Motion and are eager to get started on importing all your glittering treasures. On the horizon, there be many more adventures and booty to be plundering before we are safely back to home port. We'll be saving our Twin Motion environment for VR taking our digital treasures into Rhino 3D, and even showing ye how to bring some of your own glittering 3D geometry gold into Minecraft. And while the tides may catch us adrift during the summer months, we'll be sharing more of our adventures, giving ye a glimpse of our real-world exploits and builds in our upcoming shorts and vlog. So let's make haste and get to it. Now, to get started on this portion of our journey, navigate your mouse down to the import panel below. On the chart that appears, Select the plus icon on the port side. A second floating chart will appear with a few options to select from. Geometry, direct link, animation, landscape, and even point cloud, should you be using the same version of twin motion as your captain. For those wild sea dogs who chose to open up their pirate hideout directly from the port of Revit, the direct link tab will be your primary option to control your treasures from here. But as I said, for me, crew and I, we be choosing the geometry tab and selecting the exported datasmith file from our treasure trove directly by clicking open. If you are following your captain, navigate to your treasure we exported from Revit in the dialog box that appears, then select open. Like any good quartermaster, the renewed import chart shows you some of the finer details asking how you would like your pirate hideout treasure to be organized. Like I said before, I like seeing all of my treasure, so I'd be selecting the Keep Hierarchy from the Collapse menu and using the default settings for the rest. But feel free to mess about with various options to get your treasure organized to your liking here on the island, and then select Import. Behold, your pirate hideout now sits proud. Proudly? Where in Davy's locker did it go? Where be my pirate treehouse? It be here, that I promise. If you don't see it right away, fear not. Our new hideout just may be buried a bit. Look about your scene for any clues to where the locals may have stambered off with it. Ah, see there it is. And if ye have not set your eye upon it, ye can also take a tactful approach and look for it aloft on the scene panel on the starboard side as we discussed earlier. It will be neatly packaged and squared away in its own file. Ye can quickly set your spyglass to it by selecting the folder and then pressing the shortcut key F to zoom to its location. Mess about by navigating and flying like Peter Pan to inspect the location of your hideout. Or, if flying about like a fairy be not your style, you can use the shortcut key M to get a ground first-person view, enabling gravity to see your hideout up close. But our pirate hideout seems a bit, oh, how do I put this, dull as a deckhand on swabbing duty. We need some sight context and a bit more treasure to glamour things up a bit. Let's start by repeating the process and bring in Pirate Cove to life with the treasure we lifted from Cupix Vista. Return to the import panel below, select the plus icon from the port side, and navigate to your Cupix treasure trove and select the GGLB file we looted in our very first adventure. Repeat the steps you would like your quartermaster to take to organize the treasure, and once more, if you do not see your bounty, use the scene panel from the upper starboard side and use the shortcut key F to zoom to its whereabouts. Having sailed these waters before, your captain has noticed that many of the GLB treasures we plundered from Cupix Vista tend to land as sideways on the deck as a freshly hooked fish. But no need to fret over it much. We have the tools and skills to right her angle by either selecting the round edge of the translate gimbal or by selecting the rotate tool from aloft. Once you have your Cupix treasure positioned, take a moment to position your hideout just the way you like it. From here, you can begin to add, modify, and import a multitude of assets and treasures to your scene like trees, grass, and even actors to bring even more character and adventure to your pirate hideout here on the magical island of Twin Motion. We not be going much deeper than this here in our maiden voyage of interoperability. I promise we be dropping the anchor here and at all our previous ports another time. But for now, we set our sights upon the horizon, where we be taking this magical island and our pirate hideout into VR, where you can experience it firsthand on your favorite headset of choice, and then modifying some of the finer details of our Cupix treasure from my own favorite port of Rhino 3D. 
where you can spend almost all of your loot or exchange it for a million other uses and adventures. There'd be plenty of plunder ahead, so much you'd think you had landed on the deck of One-Eyed Willie's fabled ship. So hold fast, me hearties, ready your sea legs, and keep a weather eye out for more digital booty as we navigate the final chapter of Pirate Cove. You'll need to be as sharp as goonies to catch the second reveal of me very own hidden treasure. Savvy? Until then, me hearties, stay nerdy. This be your captain signing off.